Step number six cannot be done unless step number four has already been done. Step number six depends on step number four. Okay. So again, we're talking about specific to a feeder, which means we've got a couple of branches, multiple branches coming off. So what feeder uh, overcurrent protection for step number six says this. It says the feeder overcurrent protection, 430.62, says select the largest branch circuit. So I like the words largest branch circuit. Stop piling. It says overcurrent device. Then add the, FL, the other motor FLC. How I add all the other. Stop piling. It says I add all the other motor FLC connected to the same feeder to select the fuse or circuit breaker. The code does not permit going up to the next on a feeder. How I must go down. So if we got some odd number, we got to go down. Let's say that we were using that. Uh, standard breaker. We got this 50 amp motor, right? We got two of them. Uh, the, the standard uh, breaker is 250 percent. So standard breaker, which is the inverse time circuit breaker, is 250 percent. So 50 amps times 250 percent was what? How many amps? 125 amps. Take one of those, the largest one, then add the FLC of all the others. So 125 percent on one of the branches, or 125 amps on one of the branches, right? was the size of the inverse time circuit breaker, then they, if we have two of these, we're going to add the FLC of the other, right? The FLC is 50. So 125 plus 50, now we're at 175. Now the feeder circuit breaker would be 175, as long as it's standard size. 